Today in our 2010 Chevy Silverado, we'll be installing the Takancha Voyager Brake Controller, part number 39510, in conjunction with the Takancha Pigtail Wiring Harness, part number 7894. First step of our install will be locating the manufacturer's wiring up underneath the dash. This will be taped to the outside of a wire loom and a white sticker color indicator wrapped around it. Our first step will be cutting these wires free and pulling the sticker so we know which color has which power feed. Now for this application, we'll only be using four of the five wires and the orange wire will not be used. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and then wrap up some of the wires with some black electrical tape. Then we'll go ahead and strip back each one of the wires, adding a butt connector. Our blue and red with the black tracer, we'll get the yellow butt connectors and the light blue with a white tracer and our white wire, we'll get the blue butt connectors. Then we can bring in our Takancha pigtail wiring harness and start connecting them directly to our butt connectors. We'll connect dark blue to dark blue, black from the pigtail to the red wire with the black tracer on the vehicle side, then the red wire from our pigtail to the light blue with a white tracer on the vehicle side, and then white to white. Once we have made all these connections, we'll then go ahead and wrap up the remaining portion of our harness with some black electrical tape. This will assist in keeping dirt, dust, and debris out of our connection points and clean up our install look. Now with the harness complete, we'll go ahead and start routing it over to the location where we'll mount our brake controller. For this application, we'll mount it towards the center of the vehicle up underneath the dash. Now we can go ahead and mount the brake controller bracket. Put the bracket in place then use the hardware provided to secure it. Now with our bracket installed, we can go ahead and connect the pigtail from the brake controller to the pigtail we installed on the vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and mount the brake controller using the hardware provided. Now with the brake controller mounted, we'll go ahead and use some black zip ties to secure our wiring up underneath the dash. Then we'll cut off the excess from the zip ties to clean up our install look. With the hood open, we can go ahead and locate the power feeds that'll need to be connected to the fuse box. The first one is located on the outside of the wire loom below the brake master cylinder and booster. We'll go ahead and cut the tape and pull the pigtail up to the fuse panel. The second one is located between the fuse box and the inner fender well, again taped to the outside of the wire loom. We'll go ahead and remove the fuse box cover. We'll go ahead and cut the tape again and pull the pigtail free. Now we can take a look at the terminals already attached to the pigtails and you can see they'll specifically go over each stud that's open on our fuse box. For the smaller post, we'll use the six millimeter nut, part number 189516. And for the larger post, we'll use the eight millimeter nut, part number 185917. And we'll tighten it down. We'll go ahead and use a couple of black zip ties to secure our wiring. We'll cut off the excess from the zip ties and then reinstall the fuse box cover. And that'll complete the install of the Contra Voyager trailer brake controller, part number 39510, in conjunction with the pigtail wiring harness for Takancha brake controllers, part number 7894, on our 2010 Chevy Silverado.